Hello, and thank you for viewing this screencast. This screencast will show you how to successfully upload videos for your virtual coaching course. To begin with, you must determine whether or not your video is on your computer or on a mobile device. If your video is on a mobile device, you have two options. One is to transfer the video to your computer using a cable that was provided with your phone. The second option is to upload your video to your My Media page through media.tntp.org. If you choose to follow the second option, do the following steps. On your mobile device, navigate to media.tntp.org. Again, this is only for mobile devices such as smartphones, tablets, iPads. Once here, click on the Login button. On the login screen, enter the same user ID slash username that you use to log into your online courses as well as the same password. Once logged into your account at media.tntp.org, click on Add New and Media Upload. Again, this is only for mobile devices. You'll then click Choose a File to Upload and find the file on your mobile device. Once you select, the f select your file from your mobile device and click Upload. Do not navigate away from the page on your mobile device during the upload. Once it's finished, you'll see a screen like this. Please fill out the details, including the name and a short description of your video. Lastly, you'll click Save on your mobile device to save the video upload to your My Media file. If the video that you wish to submit is on your computer, either because you recorded it there or you've transferred the file to your computer, before uploading to the course, you'll want to go to the video to see how big the video file is. The bigger a file is, the longer it will take to upload. The My Media only accepts videos that are less than two gigabytes in size. If your video is larger than that, you will need to compress the video file using one of two programs, depending on what type of computer you are using. To check the size of the video file, find the video file on your computer. Normally this will be located inside the videos folder on your computer. Arrange folder view by details and check the size of the file. Most computers default file size into KB, which is kilobytes. 2 million kilobytes equals 2 gigabytes, so as long as your file is less than 2 million kilobytes, you should be able to upload it into the course. However, the larger the file, the longer it takes to upload. Therefore, if it's close to 2 gigabytes or you wish to save time, you may decide to compress your file using one of two programs, depending on what type of computer you have. For instructions on compressing files, enter your virtual coaching course, go to the tech support folder, and you'll see two different sets of instructions, one for PC users and one for Mac users. Open the document, follow it step by step to compress your file. Once you finish compressing, or if you did not compress to begin with, you're ready to upload your file. Log in to your virtual coaching course. Click on the coaching link on the course menu. Find the location of your course or of your site. Find the assignment that you will be submitting. Click on the assignment and click Create Journal Entry to begin your assignment submission and video upload. Once you've begun to create your journal entry, enter a title into this box. Optionally, you can enter description text as well into this box. Now, to upload your video, click on the arrow next to the Mashups button and click Kaltura Media. It's very important that you click on Kaltura Media. Do not try to attach your file using the paperclip icon or the insert file. This is for two reasons. One is insert, attaching a video this way will take a much longer amount of time than it will to upload a video using mashups and Kaltura Media. Secondly, the attach file option has an upload limit that is much smaller than the Kaltura Media upload limit is. Please do not use insert file to upload or attach a video. Instead, click on the arrow next to mashups, click on Kaltura Media. Next, 
If you have not yet uploaded your video from your mobile device, you'll click on Add Media and Upload Media or Record from Webcam. Here, browse to select your video. Double click on the name of your video and click Upload. While your video is uploading, be sure that you don't let your computer sleep or hibernate as it will disrupt the internet connection of your video upload. Additionally, do not move your computer out of range if you are on a Wi-Fi connection as it will disrupt your video upload and you will not be able to continue uploading your video and you'll have to start all over again. Once your video is finished uploading, you'll see the status will change to Done. You will then click Next, give your video a title, click Next again. You will then see a list of all the videos that you've uploaded into your My Media folder. Find the video that you wish to attach to your journal or assignment entry and click Select. Then make sure that both Yes options are selected for the mashup options and click Submit. After submitting your video, you'll see it will populate into this text box. Lastly, if you wish to attach any files like a lesson plan or student work, browse your computer here and attach files that way. After you're finished, click Post Entry to submit your video upload. You will know that your upload was successful as you will see a green bar across the top as well as your journal entry sitting here in your journal or video upload screen. If you've already uploaded your video using media.tntp.org on your mobile device, the only step you'll need to follow in the journal entry screen is to click on the arrow next to Mashups Kaltura Media, and your video will already be populated in your My Media section here. Select the video. Again, select Yes for both mashup options. Submit your video. Attach any files like lesson plans or student work to your video upload or journal entry, and post your entry. Again, you will see your entry populate into this area indicating that you have successfully uploaded your video and your journal entry. If you run into any problems and you require technical assistance, there are two places that you can go immediately to receive assistance. The first is the tech support folder on your course menu. Open that folder to find a list of video recording tips, uploading instructions for your computer or mobile, as well as instructions for how to compress your video for Mac and PC users. If you don't have your question answered here, you can either select the link to the Online Support Center from this folder, or from any course within this platform, you can click on the Support Center tab in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. After selecting Support Center, open the Online Support Center. You can receive immediate technical assistance at the Online Support Center by either clicking on Live Chat or Contact Us. Contact Us gives you an 800 number to be able to contact the support center and receive live assistance. Live chat allows you to do that through your computer in a chat window. You can also access other support documents here such as system settings and browser settings in order to properly configure your browser for TNTP Academy Online or login procedures as well. Or lastly, if you're having problems with Blackboard Collaborate. If the support staff at live chat or contact us is not able to successfully help you upload your video, please reach out to your virtual coach by email to indicate that you need additional assistance. Your coach will help you or will escalate your case to one of our technical support staff who will get in touch with you to help you successfully upload your video. Thank you for viewing this screencast and good luck with uploading your videos or accessing our online support center.